Hi, I'm Anna Patrice, and I'm Miss Maryland, Director's Choice in the United States. I would like to read a story to you, and this one's about a princess. I Want a Bedtime Story by Toni Ross. Oh, she's cute. She's got a crown. She's also got a cute little dog. I want a bedtime story. Okay. We have someone riding a bike here. Oh, it looks like a king. He's got a crown on. You see? Okay. And then we've got the princess here. Every bedtime, the king told the little princess a story. But one night he was away on royal business. So the queen told the little princess a story about a fairy queen. See the pictures? There's the fairy queen. Okay. That's not as good as daddy's story, said the little princess. And she wouldn't go to sleep. So the admiral told the little princess a story about the high seas and the giant fish who lived there. My, look at the princess. And there's a giant fish. Sounds fishy to me. <laughs> okay. That's not as good as daddy's story, said the little princess. And she still absolutely would not go to sleep. So next, the cook told the little princess a story about a really naughty sandwich. Let's see. Oh, there's the naughty sandwich. Look, he's going, ah. <laughs> okay. That's not as good as daddy's story, said the little princess. And she still absolutely, positively, would not go to sleep. The prime minister told a story about his big nose and the gardener told her one about a carrot that was afraid of the dark. Let's see what we have here. There's the prime minister's big nose and there's the carrot that was afraid of the dark. Ooh. But nobody could tell a story as well as the king. I want a bedtime story, cried the little princess. Everybody looked at the maid. She wants a story, they all cried. I don't know any stories, said the maid, but I do have an idea. Taking the little princess by the hand, she led her downstairs and then down some more stairs. There they go. And down even more stairs along a passage to a door marked library. Oh, I'd like that door. I like libraries. I like books. The maid flung open the door. Here you are, she cried. All the stories you need. The little princess blinked. These aren't stories, she said. They're books. The stories are in the books, said the maid, taking one off the nearest shelf. Look, you can read one for yourself. Oh, I can't read a whole book, said the little princess. You can read some of the little words, said the maid, and the pictures will help you tell the story. The little princess grabbed a book. She liked the shiny cover. She liked the colorful pictures. She liked turning the pages and working out the secrets of the words. There she is reading. 
Soon she was running up and down the library shelves, taking this book and that book, then another book, until the maid was weighed down with a huge pile. Look at the maid. She's trying to carry all the books for the princess. And there's the princess getting some more. Back in bed, the little princess sat surrounded by books. Her favorite one had belonged to her daddy when he was a little prince. It was all about bears. This is daddy's story, the little princess cried in delight. She'd heard it so many times she knew exactly what the secret words said. She read it over and over again. Let's look at this book. It says Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I knew that story. I bet you do too. Nighty night, sleep tight, time to turn off the light, said the maid. Wait, said the little princess. When I finish Daddy's story, I want to read all these too. Look at all the books she wants to read. She'll never go to bed like that. <laughs> She'll be up for days. Click. What happened? I think the maid turned out the light. I hope you enjoyed our story.